according to Kazakh folktales, their ancestors rose from a golden egg hatched by a magic bird called the Samrok in the fork between two branches of a poplar tree. This tree of myth, once the Samrok's perch, can be seen standing tall in Nur-Sultan, capital of Kazakhstan. The energy with which the economy has lifted off has injected this new city with a fresh momentum for its development. People from 131 different ethnic groups have come together to mold it into an amazing city of the future. Gulnar Shaya is an international relations researcher. She also practices yoga twice a week. Yoga gives not only a внешний balance, but in the first place, an internal balance. The same balance should be demonstrated in the international relations. When there are important decisions, it is necessary to look at the balance so that it is in the purpose of those who are involved in this issue. Gunnar graduated from the Diplomatic Academy of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Kazakhstan. She studied at Columbia and Harvard universities in the United States. Since 2012, she has been a researcher on international relations at Nazarbayev University. Nazarbayev University was founded on an initiative of Nursultan Nazarbayev, first president of Kazakhstan, aiming to develop gifted students with international vision. With many world-leading universities as its strategic partners, it has become the country's leading educational establishment. One of the programs that Gulnar is working on at the university is the export of Kazakhstan wheat to Southeast Asia. Vietnam. Раньше у Казахстана и Вьетнама практически не было никаких торговых взаимоотношений. Эта страна очень далеко расположена от Казахстана. У нас нет ни общих границ, не имея выход к морю, это очень лимитирует возможности государства. Казахстан is famous for the good quality of its wheat, with two thirds of its wheat being exported. However, as a landlocked country, Kazakhstan could not find a route to export its wheat to Southeast Asia. But on September 7, 2013, a guest from afar enlightened Gulnar. In 2013, I worked at Nazarbayev University. And I was happy to be a witness of the historical fact that the President Xi Jinping announced his unique idea in this university. It happened here in this hall. Ladies Речь представителя Си Цзиньпина, которая прозвучала в стенах Назарбаев университета, она, конечно, произвела очень большое впечатление на меня. One year after the Belt and Road Initiative was proposed, Kazakhstan introduced its own economic policy named Bright Road to upgrade its own transport infrastructure and open more passages to export their goods. Since then, the China Railway Express trains passing through Kazakhstan give proof of the successful alignment of the two policies. Китайки открыл в моей стране доступ к океану. Думаю, что не нужно объяснять, что это значит для государства, которое не имеет выхода к морю. Это совершенно новая историческая возможность для развития. The opening of the China-EU transport links has further inspired Gulnar about what Belt and Road could do for Kazakhstan. It has become the main focus of her research, with over 20 published papers. I believe that the movement of Kitai is a global unifying idea that opens the way of Asia, symbolizes the rise of Asian countries, the western vision of globalization on new principles of cooperation and complementarity. In 2015, because of her leading role in Belt and Road studies, Gulnar was invited to set up the China Studies Center of Kazakhstan 
and to serve as its director. This non-profit think tank aims to push for progress of the Sino-Kazakhstan cooperation through systematic appraisal and informational analysis. This results in better alignment of the country's development with the BRI. Immediately after the center was launched, Gulnar sent a delegation to China to investigate new export routes for Kazakhstan's wheat. They visited Lianyungang, Tianjin, Shanghai, and other major ports. Their reports submitted to the Kazakh government outlined suggestions for reducing transport costs and trimming of custom clearance procedures to help Kazakhstan engage in deeper cooperation with China. Наш центр единственный в Казахстане, чьи эксперты посетили несколько морских портов в КНР, ориентированных на сотрудничество с Центральной Азией. Поэтому мы хорошо знаем, как на практике развивается инициатива пояса и пути. On February 5, 2017, a train loaded with over 1,000 tons of Kazakh wheat arrived at China's port city of Lianyungang. The next day, the wheat was loaded and shipped to Vietnam by sea. This was the first time Kazakh wheat had been sold into a Southeast Asian market via China. The Belt and Road Initiative is not simply a road to the West, it is a corridor of prosperity in both directions. И дают большую перспективу для развития торговых отношений между странами. The wheat export program is just one of many at the Chinese Studies Center. Two years on from the start of the center, Gulna and her colleagues have collaborated with think tanks from China, the United States, Australia, and elsewhere, holding roundtable talks and submitting regular reports on the BRI to the Kazakhstan government. Gunnar's reports frequently make observations such as Я бы отметила один пояс, один путь как новые широкие возможности развития, новая модель международного сотрудничества и возрождение шелкового пути в 21 веке.